hands. And you can hear the music, the Christmas music, Christmas carols, anywhere in the Philippines. And then number two is the parole. It's like a lantern that has unique Filipino decorations that we put anywhere, especially in the house. And you know, his parole is also known as a Philippine lantern. It's a unique. Filipino decoration traditionally made from colorful papers. You need to have for a color papers, a bamboo sticks, and shape like five pointed star. You know that where the lanterns originally have the sign and watch here, it is 1928. The lanterns were originally designed to help villagers find their way to chapels and churches to play. These lanterns are used to further enhance the spirit of Christmas also. So, the spirit of Christmas. Putting up paroles, uh, let's just say lanterns, decorations, paroles in Tagalog. In homes, schools, establishments, offices, and schools is a common Filipino tradition. And number three is a Simbang Gabi. Simbang Gabi is a Misa de Gallo. <clears throat> it's just like you completing the Simbang Gabi for a Misa or a Misa de Gallo is in almost everyone's bucket list. It is tradition originated in the early Spanish colonial period as a practical compromise for Filipino farmers who began working before sunrise to avoid working in the fields under the heat of the sun. The Simbangabi is a nine-day series of masses to honor the bless of Virgin Mary. <coughs> and did you know when it that will start? It? it will start on December 16th to Christmas Eve. Filipinos wake up before the crackdown to attend the mass in hopes of having a granted wish they complete in the nine days before it's Christmas. So the, the Filipino tradition is they need to excuse to complete the nine days of Christmas so that they have a so that their wishes will be granted. Yeah, they have a wish, something like, I hope that my loved ones will change. I hope that more love, more power of love, something like that. I hope that I have a get or something, I wish that, something like that. So, Simbang Gabi is, uh, the English is Mesa de Gallo. Gallo. And then the number four is caroling, something like, like any other countries, Christmas is celebrated with songs and praises. Caroling. So I tried that caroling when when I when I'm when we started caroling in our province is something like five years old, and then we will go to house to house, and then all the kids, the children in our community, we were planning before it's Christmas, especially when it's coming. The Christmas that started with December 1st. We will go to house to house and then they will pay us something like that. One peso or five pesos and then all the community and after the house we will go. We will continue. We will, what do you call that? The money that we earn is we will subtract, uh, divide. How much we earned it, and how many children that sing the caroling. Usually in the Philippines, group of people, people, people would fill the streets visiting houses. Yeah, that's we have, but we don't have instruments. But something like you're unique, and then you need to be have a creativity so that the people that 
the singing too that we did caroling in the house we will give you more money so that you have a uh, more money that you can spend on christmas because that's we we think about it if you earn a lot of money for singing caroling in house to house you're planning to go to buy something or to go or to buy a gift for someone for our loved ones then after the homeowners they were the carolers with money they would sing the words of things and then thank you thank you thank you very much thank you thank you thank you you're so generous thank you something like that we will sing recently caroling has become a fundraising activity by a private organizations and socio-economic groups also yeah because that is very easy money that you can have because christmas is about forgiving and for love and then the number five is panunuluyan panunuluyan is another filipino tradition observed in some provinces in the philippines the tradition is the similar to mexican posadas where the journey of mary and joseph in search for shelter while mary was pregnant is being reenacted in the philippines the reenactment is done on the eve before christmas and noche buena is the number six after the midnight mass on christmas everyone's looking forward to this event noche buena is a grand a family dinner and a hearty feast full of delicious filipino food such as lechon manok is that a roasted pig lechon manok lechon baboy roasted pig lechon manok is a roasted chicken especially pancet and ham in a in the poor for people in here in the philippines they don't have ham because ham is very expensive in here and also a queso de bola and a lot more uh, because in our province we celebrate it only a simple way uh, only uh, american bread and then uh, pancit something like that and uh, what do you call that peanut butter and a little bit of uh, roasted chicken that's all and pepsi cola so because we're poor we just celebrated a simple as long as we're happy and we're healthy <clears throat> last christmas i give you my heart from the very next day, we give it away. These years, sent it for tears. I give you someone special. So this is the number seven. It's this is about the Christmas in the Philippines, the thin unique tradition. So I'm I'm just reading about in the internet, and the number seven is Aguinaldo. Do you know what is Aguinaldo is? Aguinaldo is a common tradition for every Filipinos to visit their relatives during Christmas Day. Kids often wear their finest clothes when visiting their relatives. During the visit, kids would practice the old age, the old age tradition as a mano, as a son act of a respect to the elders yes, huh? mano is a uh, something like you bless for the elders like that sign of respect mano po something like that 
and all the kids will sign of respect for the elders. Mano, like that. And for the most part, they are rewarded and presented with gifts like toys or money by their relatives or godparents. This is when they receive their pamasko. Pamasko is something like a gift for uh, Christmas gift, pamasko. These gifts are popularly called as aguinaldo. Now you know. Ah, I'm busy about. I cannot concentrate reading with have a hat. So if you want to read about the Philippines, the unique traditions, I'll copy the Number eight, uh, yeah, with number eight, I think. Yeah. Monito at monita, something like. Speaking of gifts, another adaptation of Secret Santa is called Monito and Monita. It is a form of exchanging gifts where every participant has his or her anonymous gifts. This is usually done during Christmas parties, in schools, houses, or offices. I love Monita, yes I do. I love Monita, yes I do. This is where we, we sing about Monito on Minita. Uh, all the, what do you call that? All the houses, uh, all the schoolmates, houses mates, offices mates, is with we form of circles and then if someone uh the other player and other man will go in the mirror and then he will give the gift to the anonymous what do you call that Anonymous gifts. Belen, number nine. Last Chris. Eleven viewers, I think. Well, how many viewers? Eleven. Not so many. But with Michael Fazio, is very daghan. A lot. Dice me, hello, Samuel. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Chris Miller, Philippines, six months. What six months? You look very, very this morning, Mrs. Thank you. Morning. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing live stream. <laughs> you mob? Nice. Yeah. What a windy. Yeah. Where you go? Muruame, you over there. Yeah, I'm Muruame. Ah, you buy your book? Not so good. The one that we remember that we walk over there, Moro Army, next to Bellevue. Yeah, there's a small something like this, and then you just go. Not so good. No. We try over there two times, it's not good. It has a bug. Last time, yeah. Yeah, over there, it's okay. Moro Ami. Just go straight over there and then you just it has a name, Moro Ami. And then something like this, a spina, no? Spina te? Sa right side, after the derby. Yeah, after. 
There's a tree, talisay, may talisay pe. Yes, very early, very six thirty. But him, very early, he woke up five. Sit up, doctor. I cook, bed clean, bathroom. Okay, take care. Bye bye. <clears throat> Sorry, I had. There's someone who asked for a question about where they will eat. Uh, Michael's friend from New York, Eric Larson. Mama says lanterns are the devil. Why you say that Chris Miller that is lanterns is a devil? How did you know that? It's not the the lanterns it's tradition that you feel the christmas is coming hi sasha spirok 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 how to sign how to shag a lag dog hey daisy where is your grand oh my grandfather is in what they call in the hospital Uh, any viewers? Good morning, Princess Anod. My favorite song is. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. Oh, I forgot what is the lyrics. Jingle bells, jingle bells. It's Christmas time in the city. Silver bells. Many songs that I like for Christmas. I bet Chagalag swallows when he chagalags. What did, what do you call that? Chagalags. <laughs> Another troll, you are number one in the history, baby. Rodi Gallus, is that a toilet we use? <laughs> Yeah, Shasha, he is very disrespectful. Disrespectful. He have no respect. Maybe his own self also. Ah, behind me. Ah, yeah, sorry. I need to close it. My... My favorite Christmas food is the number one is pancit bihon. Pancit or bihon. Oh, that's very delicious for me. So, what is uh, many question, questions about Filipina or in the Philippines or you want to? Talk each other in the chat chat room because I have nothing to say about because I'm not with I'm not Michael Fazio. Good evening, Scott. Merry Christmas. Ho 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 ho! Michael is not here. He's in the hospital. Going to check up for his foot. Maybe he needs to get a new medication because it's very, very long time that his foot is not healed up. Is there two live feed going on right now? What's this? Is there two live feed going on right now? What is that? 
What what do you mean, Samuel? I don't get it. To live feed is going right now. I don't know. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Ah, uh, I forgot. Oh, I need to finish. What is about the Christmas in the Philippines? The Christmas in the Philippines, you know, is very the best. And the number 10 is Three Kings. The Three Kings is a religious event in the Philippines celebrated with a mass every january of six. Oh, january of six is that is after my birthday because my birthday is january 5th so that is after my birthday the three kings it is also marks the end of the christmas seasons the celebration if if epiphany, epiphany epiphany is also known in the philippines as pasco ng matatanda Feet of the elderly to honor the senior citizens. Christmas is much celebrated everywhere in the world. This is a season, season to give love and give things. Filipino Christmas may feel like in the middle of summer or it neither has snow or mist, mistletoe. There's still no doubt that the Pinoy always have a jolly Christmas. You know, that is very true because the Filipino is a very jolly person, very friendly person. This is why everyone can say, Iba talaga ang Pasko sa Pinas. Christmas is ended in English is, Christmas is ended different in the Philippines. Ended. Wait for a while. I need to get water. You can talk each other. What is your Christmas wish or Christmas experiences? Doing your childhood when you're still young.
Jingle bells. Hope and sleigh. Oh, where was we go? Laughing all the way. The sun bathtub sing. They make our spirits bright. But when it is right on a singing, singing song tonight. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun, it's so right in the winter's open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun, it's so right in a one-horse open sleigh. They ought to go and play that trick or ride. Sided by my side, the horse was lean and lank. Misfortune seemed his luck. We got into a drifted bank and then we got upset. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what's funny, so ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what's funny, it's to ride in the weather open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells. I don't know what to say because I have nothing to say. Hey, Joe, all of Joe in here because you are all Westerners from another country. Hey, Joe, what's up, yo? What's up, Joe? <laughs> Good morning, Joe. That is my joke for today. Hey, Joe. Good morning, Joe. Yeah, I sing. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what's fine it is to ride in a water soap and sleigh. Hey! You like this balls? This is the balls in Mr. Obama. He just left here. He forgot to bring in the city. <laughs> I was on this in Nicholas Chaplin, though no tools. I see his monsters. I could only see my comments, not the others. Oh, okay. The Sasha Mike is the weather is here is very hot. It's nice. The Three Kings of East, January 6th, that is after my birthday. Where's Basco? Adios, amigos. What is the, I forget the, the one that you teach me. Uh, no, no, it's... Uh, the Spanish, hasta luego, amigo. That is not right, yeah? Where's Basco? Hello, Daisy. What's up, boss? Hi, where's Basco? What's up, Joe? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm doing good, but I have nothing to say because I'm not Michael Fazio. I have nothing to say about... Especially Christmas. Christmas is about love. My idea of Christmas, whether old-fashioned or modern, is very simple. Loving each other. The best of all gifts around any Christmas tree, the presence of a happy family, all wrap up each other. The magic of Christmas never ends, and it's greater of gifts are family and friends. Yeah, especially in here. You need to gather all your families and friends and spend with your loved ones in Christmas. And singing in karaoke, laughing, 
drinking and get hammered. That is in the Philippines and no one will sleep until tomorrow, until the sun is shining. Hey Joe! Hello everyone! I'm glad you're I'm glad all of the friends on followers of Michael Fazio, aka Rabbi Joe Barker in Philippines is here. Winston, you like this Winston? <laughs> One lonely farm or taste this good like a cigarette should. Yeah. It tastes good, I think. <laughs> Hello, John Bunbin, Rudy Galos, Sasha, Scott. Oh, Joe Mac is here. Good morning, Joe Mac. Joe, Joe. How are you, Joe? Manai go nata, they say, Princess Anna, they say, she said that. We will sing Carol is Manai Gon. Yeah, sing like we will go to the houses singing Carol Christmas. Hey Joe. <laughs> Thank you, Joe Mac. Even if it's not right and not not truth. But thank you for the compliment, Joe Mac. I am glad Michael is checking this farther, not right. Yeah, Scott, I'm feeling sorry for him. It's been a long, long, long time. Corno estas amiga. Oh, corno estas amigo. So that is a. Uh, Or no como. Ah, uh, como. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Como. Estas. Amigos, amigas. Amore. It's about love. Yeah, lots of Spanish in Tagalog. We just mix a thing. Something like we will counted uh, in Bisaya is 11. We will count it 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Dicinueve, veinte, something like that. We will count it to Spanish also. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, something like that. Spanish. Joe Mac, lovely Daisy, what is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby is uh, so I forgot uh, because I like doing some painting, painting. Uh, Michael told me and welding, something like that, and sewing. 
that's all. Uh, a little bit of swimming also, but not so because I'm a little bit of afraid. How about you, Joe Mac? Joe? Some of the men, my favorite hobby is swimming, eating, watching. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Como estas? Okay, now I know. Donnie Porter, hi. Donnie. Michael is not here, he's in the US. Doctor. Checking up with his foot injury. John Bunbin in the Netherlands. This time it is a not Christmas but winter festival because we don't want to hurt other religions. Yeah. I understand, John Boom. They see what Carol comes to mind when you read, We Wish You. When you read, We Wish You. I don't know. Something like we will, we will, wishing them a uh, good health, uh, have a good Christmas, happy Christmas. We wish you that wisdom will come to our mind. We wish you a Merry Christmas. I need to take my medicine. My nose is still clogged. Stop the very goal. Political correctness is a fatal virus. Really? It is called Winter Festival, Jambon? Kipasa. Kipasa, which is insulting to Christians. The weather is fine. It's very hot. Init kaayo. Very, very hot. Thank you, John Boone, because my hair is already straight and it just need to do some work because it got dry a little bit because for the ocean long time ago and then my hair is, is straight already. And I just need to some going some treatment of my hair. Thank you, John Boone. Father Christmas comes earlier than December. Yeah, they just changed the date. I don't know why. On the way to the BN. Dai anak ka na ako uyab si Jan. Dai anak. Anak na ako uyab. Hmm? <clears throat> ah, uyab ni mo si Koan? Princess Anod is your boyfriend is John Bundin? <laughs> Princess Arnold, I don't know if it's you telling the truth or you're just kidding. Whoa, I enjoyed, that's nice, traveling, that's nice also. But I'm a little bit scared from going back and forth, riding an airplane, especially a boat. But I would love to try, 
soon. Fishing, karaoke, that's nice. Me too, karaoke. So, maybe you're a good singer too. Dancing, maybe you need to have a... To make a video that you sing and dancing. So that you have an evidence that that is your hobby. My hobby too is singing and dancing. We would rather see you DC. You're a lot prettier than the Joe Barker. <laughs> Joe Barker is a lot more handsome. More beautiful. Especially when it's giving uh, thoughts and what do you call that? Good information about politics and what is in here life in the Philippines. Baby. Mi gusto chica hermosa. Wolfgang. Whoa, what happened? Oh, yeah, I just take. <clears throat> but no coughing. It's just my, a little bit of my. My nose still plug some good clam. My positive thoughts, this is the, where Vasco said, is more smiling, less worrying, more compassion, less judgments, more bless, less stress, more love, less hate. So the light in our hearts is more smiling and less worrying and less judgments with others. Be mindful, be grateful, be positive, and be true, and be kind to yourself.
<laughs> you like that? <clears throat> Santa is giving a Winston cigarette. Be grateful for what you already have while you pursue your goals. If you aren't grateful for what you already have, what makes you think you would be happy with more? So this is my world of thought. Yeah, Santa is on Winston. Santa likes to smoke the Winston. Forgot where. <clears throat> That's nice. How long have you been together, Pensis Anod? If John Boombin is your boyfriend, that's nice to hear. Live the life of your dreams. Be brave enough to live the life of your dreams according to your vision and purpose instead of the expectations and opinions of the others. So that is my word of thought. Positive thoughts of this May. In the Philippines, baby. Yeah, vaping. I heard that. Uh, I just said that in the news. The vaping. Uh, there's an, one man got uh, injured about the vaping in the Philippines. Somewhere in Manila, I think. Whoa, it blew his mouth. The, the vaping is not good, I think. It's broke. Uh, I don't know. How to use that? So it's not good. So maybe it's better to stop. How long have you been together? Pila na mo ka toe? Pila na mo ka mans? Ni John Bonbin, Princess Anod. I'm not asking is that your BF. I am. I am. I ask you if how long have you been together? I know that you told me. Ah, four years. That's nice. Congratulations, John Bumbin and Princess Anod. So, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New
that's nice. Four years? That's very long. So follow your heart, listen to your inner voice, stop caring about what others think. That's right. You're supposed to be who you are and what you want to do. Don't let other people put you down or push you down because they don't care about you. Just care of yourself and think positive and everything is under enough. Everything is under control, of course, to you. And, and always think to yourself that you can, you can do it. This is me. Can you give all your fans a big number one? This is all number one, baby. No, no, that's number one. Something like that. <laughs> Number one, baby, you're all number one. This is me, you did good on We Wish You a Memory Christmas. Have you met each other, Princess Amnod, with Jangun Bin? That would be nice. Psycho. Ah, soon. Okay. That's nice. Take care. And be loyal and very, just be honest to your loved ones and don't ask, ask, ask all many. Listen to your heart, cause I'm falling for you. I don't want to let go, when well, I don't know why. Accept yourself, love yourself, and keep moving forward. Don't move backwards because if you move backwards, maybe something will happen badly for you. Okay? Because forward is you can see where you will go. And if backwards, you have no eyes behind you. So you need to move forward. Don't move backwards okay move forward don't move backwards if you want to fly you have to give up what weights you down for example santa claus this is santa claus without the reindeer he cannot fly ho 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 so he needs to fly with the windstone so this is for example this is the <laughs> He's rainer. Ho 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 ho. But the wind sun is bad for your health. So he cannot fly. So the waves go down and down and down because the windstone is bad. So much better the reindeer. So where is the reindeer? The reindeer is in here. In here, the reindeer. Much better. Santa Claus. Go ride and ride and ride and ride. Woo, 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 woo. Santa Claus likes to ride and ride in a deco dome with the reindeer. He likes it. Santa Claus, why you like this? Whoa, I like this. I like this. I like this. Oh. 
Oh, Santa Claus fell down. I must forgive. Forgive me, Santa Claus. Santa Claus like riding in the DOD. Baby, he don't like the Winston. He prefer the DOD. Santa Claus, where is my gift? What gift? I ask you my gift. What gift? Oh, I know what is your gift. Your gift is Michael Fazio. Yes, Santa Claus. How did you know? Oh, I read your mind, Disney. Really? Okay. Coming. It's very heavy, the DOD, you know? Santa Claus will be doing in a riding, ride, in a ride in the DOD. Baby. Santa Claus, stay here with me. Oh, excuse me. Santa Claus like the DOD, not the Winston and the Rainer. Oh. I hope you like the beauty with Santa Claus. No, I, I was kidding. Joe Mac. Hi, Joe Mac. Unless you're Michael Jackson, don't move backwards. Get advice. <laughs> yeah, Michael Jackson is already dead, but I prefer move in forward. That's not not backwards because much better move forward because you know you can see what you can see in moving forwards instead of moving backwards straight forward any and all questions about the philippines about the filipina if what they like they like for the western men Rodi Gallas Daisy how did the fish turn out last night the fish is very uh what do you call that Delicioso. Oh, sorry, Santa. Michael's the one who cook because he is the cook, the chef. Psycho. How can I find me a good Filipina? Do you have a, a dating? Have you been to dating online or in Facebook cycle? You can find a good woman. For example, uh, she has a job and she has no kids. And she's planning for the time that... <clears throat> What time you will chat each other and then on time also that it not delayed because 
the Filipina also, not for me, huh? because I, the time is gold for me. I don't like to be late also. I like to be advanced first, not to be late. Because it's to be late, you cannot change. But in advance, you will know the future, what will be come, not to be late. So much better you, if you go in the dating side, just try to ask them if they have a, have a job or if they're living in the house only with their family, that is not good. And it's very, very difficult to find a good woman now in here because some of the women here, they are taking advantages for the Western because they think that you have uh, plenty of money so they just need your money and that's all but they care about you sometimes but sometimes are not they just want your money so much better you, you need to to ask some more questions and make uh, Planning for the time, what time you you will chat each other so that you have a moment you have spent for each other. And that's all. If the girl will want to uh, ask you for uh, education because I'm still studying, uh, lack of ex, uh, lack of what you call that financing so that's not good you don't need to support them if they're still studying they will ask you money escape that believe that so you need to find a good woman also that would be good and also the very honest Yeah, Princess Anod, Psycho. Princess Anod tell you, Psycho, that it's hard to find a good woman for now. But you need to be wise also. How much are the hotels there? Just an estimate if you know. I don't know, Joe Mac, because uh, I don't know. Per night in here is, I uh, know, 1,800, I think. Uh, 1,800 or 1,500. I don't know. Uh, for a dollar. 1,700 or... Hmm. I'll convert because I'm not so good in math. Michael, $33 per night, I think. That is very cheap in here. They have kitchen, uh, the view of the ocean. Uh, here in the ocean, Joe Mac. So much better that, did you give the email with Michael Fazio yesterday so that you can chat each other or talk? What best for you if you're planning to go here to visit in the Philippines? Oh, what place are you planning to visit? So you said in Cebu or in Bohol because Anguilla City is not a good place you will go. Philippine Bounds, good advice, Daisy May. Yeah, thank you. Psycho, my friend is moving to Davao in June with this Filipina. I will visit them. That's nice. 
we're in Davao because I'm from Davao also, but it's not in Davao City. It's Davao del Norte. I live in Kapalo. Only if Pamela was here, this should be a perfect shot for today. <laughs> Pamela is not here. You're right, Samuel. You're welcome, Psycho. Remember, Psycho, you need to be wise and ask more questions about the Filipina. If you think because you're a man, you will know the answer. If they will give you some bullshit questions uh, and answers, move forward. Don't move backwards. Change the pen and go for another woman. Bonus Entertainment. Hello, Bonus. He said the modern cultures would say one needs to learn how to love themselves before they can love someone else. I'm not sure where it's in the... Okay. That just don't go to the places in Davao. Uh, for example, Cotabato City. I will tell you, don't go there. That have many Muslim. Cotabato, Sultan Kudarat. Many Abu Sayyaf over there that they will kidnap you. Uh, Kota Bato, Kota Bato. Don't go in Kota Bato, psycho, if they're planning to go with the wife of your friend in Davao. Just much better to stay in the city only. Or oh, you try to go in the Eden's place in. If you like to go there, we have a jet. What do you call that? When you go to the jet, jet plane, you go Eden's place. Uh, place. I don't know. So. Be safe in Davao City. Just don't go to the very, very dark. Much better to stay in the city or in the mall only. Don't go anywhere with the strangers. Because they will kidnap you, something like that, or they will rob you. Excuse me for a while. Winston. With Santa.
Hello, I'm back. I will read the comments. Uh, before that, I have... Princess Arnold, my man lucky to me, I own me because I have a good heart. That's good to love him and I am honest and open with him. That's nice, Princess Arnold. Let's be, be honest with him and don't lie. Just focus with him. Think. Psycho, thank you for your advice. You're welcome. But Psycho, my friend has been to Davao with his Filipino wife at least 10 times. That's nice. Joe Matt, the drinking water here is not so safe in the tap water in the faucet. So much better to buy a distilled water. Or the ones, uh, one gallon. How many gallons are there? Purified drinking water. Like this, you need to buy. Uh, this is only uh, 25 pesos. With this. And distilled water. Do not drink in the tap water in the faucet because maybe you need to have a stomach ache or LBM. I thought it would uh, be psycho. It, I thought it would be safest there with them. Yeah, it's it's safer to stay with them and don't go be, without. Uh, just for example, if you have an expensive jewelry and you go to the, you call that not in the safest area, you need, you don't need to wear a high jewelry, something like a watch or a uh, necklace. Uh, you need to be simple. To wear simple. Hmm. <clears throat> Bottled water. This is for you, Psycho. If you're planning to have a Filipina girlfriend, do not fear with failure, but rather fear not trying. Keep trying and trying to have a, to find a good woman 
in here in the Philippines, especially because we are Filipina is very caring, very loving, humble, honest, understanding. So if you failed once or twice or thrice, so I, no, no, no. Much better if you failed once, twice, you know what is good for you. So keep trying. Let's sing Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday. My nose is still clogged. The season me will never forget the love of happy Jesus. The love will help all Jesus with the needle one to guide us. It's your life. You don't need someone's permission to live the life you want. Be brave to live from your heart. So that is my thought. So just for example, if someone... As, I don't know, nothing. Samuel, this is me, you said it all about the Philippine peoples. Yeah, Psycho, if you're still watching, if you want to visit, to go to the People's Park also, uh, that is very nice also over there and then you need to have a you want to smell some fresh air it's very nice and i don't know uh last time i visited there last june this year there's no more statue because the last time we go there with michael Fajo when we first met in davao it's still a statue and then this year 2018, no more. I don't know why they get the. The statue in People's Park. Man, I just don't want to be trapped in a taxi with other passengers and someone fart and the windows don't roll down. <laughs> no. If you smell the fart, you just need to think that nice perfume, nice fragrance. <laughs> that is some uh, fresh air that you smell from the fart. Fart is the utot, uh, you know? If they had not pumped with him with morphine for three days, every three days, he probably would have lived other one hundred. Just think, Joe, if you if you smell the fart and then if the taxi is close, you just Oh, what a good fresh air. Fresh air. B. 
baby. Michael, where are you? This is good for our viewers. The thoughts. Otot, pala otot. Don't waste your time. In anger, regrets, worries, and grudges. Life is too short to be unhappy. Yeah, that's right. So you need to be happy, happy, and plan for the for your happiness, traveling, and experiences of what you want. Before you die, because life is too short, so you need to be happy and fun and experiences. Feel the moment of love and feel the create creatures. <laughs> Jonga, you will pass out before the next destination. <laughs> So much better you just need to take a sleeping pill and then you cannot smell the good fart, the good fragrance of the fart because you're sleeping. You cannot smell. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, Tagaytay is a nice, as I heard. Where's Basco? Tagaytay. Tagay Tai. I'm copying the Tagaytay about the best things that you want to, if you planning to go in Tagaytay cycle, if you like. Psycho, that is uh, if you're planning, if you want to go in Tagaytay, that is in Luzon, that is in Manila. How long it 
travel Manila to Tagaytay. One hour, one hour and 51 minutes. That is 64.5 kilometers. That is express. If you're planning to go there, <clears throat> okay, so you decided to go for in Tagaytay after the Dava, or you don't need to go in the Dava cycle. You need to be safer over there, also. Think twice and then don't put all your things in the public, just. If you have a bag, you need to have, uh, don't put in the public or everywhere. You just feel safely for your safe also. Think, think wisely. You're in Manila. Anywhere in the Philippines is, uh, anywhere in the world have many strangers. Just think about it. I think you have to try to do something to mistake and learn from it. Yeah, you're right, Lander. I don't know what to talk about now. I have nothing to say. Uh, so if you like to go uh, cycle in Dagitai, just pre think wisely and don't trust anybody in there. Just if you want to have a question, try to ask the security guard, the police, uh, if you have some questions or Try to settle in your phone the Google map if you don't know anything in the Philippines. And try, to, um, try some research about the Tagalog. Tagalog.
words a little bit so that you they think that you're not a tourism over there that they think oh he knows all of here in here so they will not take advantage to you so you must i know also take notes take some notes that you need to tell them to talk to them so just search in the google what what words you want to learn in tagalog and then take some notes the important notes that you want to talk to them ask some questions that's all take some notes before you go before you travel some languages to their language uh, what is the example some tagalog just for say to me Joe, Mike, man, what if I get diary in the first few days of visiting? No, the crap for always know me. <laughs> yeah, that's why, Joe, Mac, you need to to save also that what you drinking. So, much better to drink the distal water or not in the top water. Where's Basco? They say up any I don't have a children. Uh you ask if how many wants the children? Maybe two only or three? If God will give us a children. I hope and I wish. Ah, okay. Walang anuman. Uh walang. Ano man. That is the right. Uh, walang ano man is. Wala sa pa yan. I forgot. What? You're welcome. You're welcome. Just Google it if what words you want to learn in Tagalog. Yeah, that's right. Someone. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't have planning for some cookies and snack. Uh, the cookies that I like it, the, the from America that they gave it to me, the biscotta that have some almonds. I really, really like it, but they don't have here in the Philippines. But I would love some for that, some snacks soon. Uh, If it's hard to spell it, you just search it in the Google cycle. They will spell it right sometimes and you can learn also. For example, what you want to learn, uh, how much? Magkano po? Uh, just po is a sign of respect. Magkano po? Yes. How much? So, magkano po? Yeah, that is in Tagalog. How much? Where's Basco? Daisy, was it is a major difference in the province you grew up in compared to where you live now? Uh, the major difference in our province compared it here is uh, I have a good view and then um, because there's no spray, chemical spray in 
in here because in our province every day and something they put spray in in the banana farms in our provinces and then we got sick and then some our vegetables and our clothes we got chemicals in our vegetables and some our body also and then it's not good we got some rushes because that is chemicals that is very dangerous so and then here and over there i got sick easily and here not so much just just now i have a cough because that is from chlorine that i smelled in the in the mall Nice, you have one son. Is it best to walk, rent a bike, or take a taxi around? <clears throat> if you like to ride a bike, but for for here uh me and michael don't ride a bicycle we just get a tricycle or a motorcycle to go to the town and if we decided to go in the city we take a ride sometimes a uh, tricycle and a jeepney and a bus going to the mall and then going home again a bus or a jeepney going home and sometimes we walk uh from here in the house and from the town we get uh around the street if there's no bus or tricycle going to the to the to the town because the the bus is bus and jeepney only in the town uh, round trip so we walk for about three kilometers sometimes and sometimes not uh, walking and doing some but if you like renting a bicycle because you want to travel and you like it to, to riding a bicycle so much better to walk and if you want to ride a bike not a taxi because the taxi in here is very expensive you have a uh, you pay two thousand that is not good so much better uh, Yes. <clears throat> you walk and you rent you rent a bicycle some if you want and if you don't want to rent a bicycle you just walk at the end of the street and then take a ride of motorcycle or tricycle jeepney or bus you just enjoy and if you're planning to visit the tourist spots in here in the Philippines you just need to get a tricycle get a how much uh it will cost what is your plan so that's all don't go take take a ride or taxi walking is best also if you have a good exercise your body you just need you don't need to mahal kita kita not kids. What happened? Mahal. Kita. Means I love you. Yeah, that's right. I love you. Mahal kita. Ah, Jomak. Mahal kita sobra sobra. That is very... I love you very, very much, much, much. <laughs> no, it just... That's very... 
sweet if you want to say that to your loved ones, to your special ones. Mahal kita, sobra sobra. It's in ibig, in ibig, what I like is mahal. That's nice, you know. In ibig kita. Hi, Tudor Lloyd. Hello. Have a good day. Michael is not here. He's been to the doctor to go to check up with his foot. Bisaya. Do you want to speak Bisaya to learn also? Tudor? Oh, Tudor. Sorry. Psycho? You really? It's not easy to help. To get a barangay captain, to be a barangay captain, you need a Filipino citizen. You're not a Filipino. I have a guitar in my hall. It's my hell guitar. Hall guitar. Monkey bitch. That's nice. Joe Mac. What the food that I ever tried? The worst food that I ever tried? Um, nothing. All the foods that I like it. I'm not very maarte, very meticulous about food. All the foods that I like. <laughs> Aso. Okay, I will not eat. So, it's been a long time that I eat a uh, dog also. Tastes good. You can buy some boats in here. <clears throat> yeah, if you're planning to, to be a barangay captain. Psycho. Oh. Your favorite food is balot? We will make a video if you, me and you will eat a balot. That's very, very unforgettable moment that we have. If me and you will eat the balot, and then there's a small chicken inside, and then we will have a spicy vinegar and a little bit salt. Whoa, that's very delicious. Kau tang. I've never tried the kau tang, I think. Only the cow meat, I think. Really? You eat? You eat so? Yeah, it's illegal now. Psycho. Yes, kau tang slice tennis. Really? I would love to ha to try that. Just bring. <laughs> I was kidding. I'm not so sure if he, if they sell on here the cow. It's very rare that they will sell some cow. Cow tongue. I would love to try that. Hi, Dennis Adam. Merry Christmas. Have a good day. I hope Michael will be here soon. Because Michael is a lot more happy. 
very jolly to talk to. Not for me, because I am not Michael. Do you want to learn some Tagalog psycho? Oh, Tagalog, Tagalog, or Bisaya words? Or you just Google it if you're planning to visit yesterday. Or yesterday? Sorry. Next year. Pork belly adobo. Wow, that's very yummy. They eat a lot of stag and cow head here in Mexico. They in Pabas. That would be nice. Really? Mexico? Mexico is nice place also. Pork belly, oh, adobo. That's is lami. Lami is delicious. Lami is Delicious. Manuk. Uh, nice. <laughs> I will tell to Michael that Michael is not sweet than me. <laughs> Samuel, don't worry. I will tell to Michael that be sweet. Masarap. Uh, this, the right spelling of masarap is this one. That's okay, Psycho. But as long as you can speak the language in here, Tagalog, dialect, You have something to say for each other? I have nothing to say. Excuse me, I have something in my nose. I need to spit it out.
I will eat uh, mango, ripe mango. So, uh, First time at live show, uh, last Michael is not there. Give me my best. Okay, Philippine, my paradise. Where's Basco? They see what different types of jobs have you done. Uh, my first job at when I'm 15 years old, I think, is in is in the house. Housekeeping, a helper, a uh, and then after my age of 18 year old years old i work in in the house again uh, i just work for only uh one month because it's very hard uh i had they have uh, four kids a mother and a father and then i'm the one who did all the works wash the clothes it's very difficult So I stopped and then in the house again, I stayed over there for only three months. And then I'm the one who, who did all the works, washing all the, they have uh, two kids going to school. I'm the one who wash the clothes, cook the foods, cleaning, ironing the clothes from the schools of their children. And then some the clothes of their parents that they want to wear for the church always because they, they always go to the church. And then after that, in the bakery, uh, I work only in the bakery for only two months. And then I eat the skin. The skin is have many nutrients. So don't waste the skin. You can eat all. Then after the bakery, in the house, my my last employer in Davao City, City before we meet Michael. That's all. My experience job. I don't like to work in the mall. Yeah, it's very boring. And then you need to stand whole day then you need to wear a high heel something like that it's not good to the feet you need to that you need to stand over there much better to work in the house Yeah, I spit in my nose.
Mangsa. Sit. Mango. This is my lunch. Pads 46. Hi everyone. Hello everyone. Hello Pads. Last Christmas. It's not dry mango, it's a fresh mango. It's a fresh mango. I eat the skin also because skin have many nutrients and vitamins. I don't waste. Michael told me. Yeah, really? There's no space in here. We have only a small lot. Uh, I cannot plant that. The seed. Ah, take out the shell. We have a small lot, jambon. Thank you, John Boon, but for now, we have no space to plant the tree, the seed of the mango. Thanks, though. Scott stands good. Disney is strong, like the third day, but the third day isn't beautiful like Disney. Beautiful. Really? Thanks. Joe man, do you like cantaloupe? What's cantaloupe? Our look. Cantaloupe? Photos. Mmm. No, I've never tried that. It looks like a squash. Maybe if I would try some, is that a sweet Joe Mac, the cantaloupe fruit? I would love to try that, but 
melon. Oh, okay. Watermelon, it has many watermelons in the Philippines. Lotto is coming along. We have uh, six holes, I think. Uh, we need to dig uh, four holes. And you know, Psycho, we stopped for a long, long, long ago. And then we just need to wait for uh, next year with Michael Fazio to finish the job. Because he cannot work for because of his foot. Okay, melon. Sorry, I, I like eating the mango. I like it. Uh, in Davao, it has many watermelons. Psycho, if you're planning to go in Davao next year to visit, Don't forget my pasalubong. No, I'm just kidding. Pasalubong is a free gift that where you're the John Bone Bean. I know they have a small mango tree now and I have told her how to do that. That's nice. Yeah, they have they have a nice a big lot over there in Butuan. As I heard. But here we have no space for planting the tree. Michael, where are you? Do you have something to say for each other? Because I have nothing to say. Ah, maybe Dorian. Dorian is very lame. That is in from Davao. That's delicious. Nice. Nice first Bosco. I like orange and avocado sometimes. The price of the mangoes in here in 
Bohol is very expensive. It is 120 per kilo or sometimes 150. And if the mango is already got spoiled, they will still sell it for a very highest per price. Uh, 50 per kilo or 60 per kilo even it's already rotted. You know, we supposed to to uh, no, to sell a very cheap is so that they can sell it more. No more waste for the fruits because they cannot the Filipino or some that will not buy it because it's already rotted. So I just buy a little bit, not always. Sometimes if I feel eating the mango, yes, I don't like wasting money too. So. Joe Mac, do the AREMs in Bohol accepts Visa or MasterCards or Bohol? Should I bring printed small note crash? Okay. Joe Mac, I'm not so sure, but many AREMs in here in in Bohol and MasterCards and maybe you you try to to contact with Michael Fazio because I'm not so sure about this. You did you give the your email in here or to Michael Fazio last time? Michael where are you? One dollar and eighty cents. So how much is dust in Filipino Philippine? Eighty per kilo? Joe Mac, I'm not too sure about your question, but as I far as far as I know, it has many ADMs in here and MasterCards. Uh, much better to try to contact with Michael Fazio so that he knows better than me. John Bundin, your blood go up high as it too much. Yeah, correct, John Bundin. Especially when you're eating doyan with cola, with the soda, it's not so good. Excuse me. Need to clean my teeth. Michael, where are you? Why well, it's taking you so long? Oh, I hope everything will be fine with Michael Fazio. Oh, I need to copy all the comments in here. 
before I end the live stream so that I have the evidence. Wait some of the Use me for a while. What happened? Where is... It's taking so long. Any more questions before I end the live stream? No. I need to end the live stream before maybe you have something to talk about each other. John Bunbin, I think Michael dating pizza hot. Hot coffee. Maybe. <laughs> okay, Philippine May Paradise. Thank you. Good night, everyone. John Matt, try to email with Michael Fazio if you want to know about here in the Philippines, but as far as I know, it has many ATMs in here and MasterCards. Or if you're planning to visit in Bohol, Jomak. Jomak. Uh, try to message or email. Michael Fazio in the Philippines. Or try to put it here if you did not give your email address. It will be hidden. Okay lang. It's nice, Psycho. Have a good day or have a good night.
Christmas Day. Where is Spring? Spring. Good night everyone. Thanks for watching and have a good day in the Philippines. Happen.